Let's talk about day planners because, oh yeah, baby, those are a massive trend. Go anywhere on Facebook or Amazon and there are almost a kajillion, and I mean that almost literally, day planner options out there. Why in the world are day planners such a trend? Well, number one, Gen Xers and Wires, we grew up with these bad boys. So to us, being a professional is having on many levels a paper day planner of sorts on your desk. And the type of day planner, if it's the big green binder, if it's a zippy, if it's one that has lots of papers coming out of it, reflect not just the logistics of our work life, but more importantly, what we in our subconscious mind think of as how does an expert, how does a professional who's doing this adulting thing and hopefully doing it well, actually look like and feel like our day planners aren't just the practical sense of keeping our information organized and it's not even just the tangible sense of the practicality of the paper and the ribbon and the pen and all of that sensory engagement that we love day planners to us are a reflection of who we are as experts and if we don't have a day planner are we truly a professional what does this all mean for your brand? Well, basically, day planners are the embodiment of who we think we're supposed to be as a quote-unquote adult professional. So what does your audience perceive they should be when working with your brand? Do they think that they're better because they can work with your brand or do they think they're inferior because they need the help of your service or product when you understand those underlying cultural social stories that play with your brand then you can understand how to engage with them better engage with your audience in a more authentic way so what can every brand learn from the day planner trend you got to look at the influential times in your audience's life. And that is normally between the ages of 16 and 21, when we are most culturally influenced by society at large. So when your audience was 16 and 21, what did they think they were going to be when they're their current age? Did they think they would need your service or product? Was it a positive thing back then to need your service or product? Or was it a negative thing? When you understand this, you now understand how to relate to your audience better and speak to the struggle that is going on inside their heads and their hearts and when you can do that then guess what they're not just going to say yes to your product you're also going to have a client for life because they know you get who they really are and that is something we all want in life